Good afternoon, George Cavaligos for HFT Bonds. Well, we're getting chopped around pretty good today. I don't think we lost any money. I look at it, I think I'm up a little bit on the day. Nothing big though on the uh, treasuries here. The tenure chopped around in a, a really narrow range actually intraday. Uh, I, I don't know what to make out of it. Um, looking at you know the New York Fed data that just came out this afternoon on their mortgage purchases for QE3. The first six days they bought 20 billion in uh, mortgages. That's taking a lot of uh, long dated or 10 year paper basically which is what mortgages correlate to out of the market. And I think that's why the 10 year is held up so much better than the bonds have now. I think going forward, what we're going to have to look at is when we get buy signals, you want to buy the tenure. When you get sell signals, you want to sell the bonds. I think the curve steepening trade is back in force here in a, probably a big way. Want to try and uh, make you know the the best trades that we can. I think that's the way we're going to have to go. Market today, you know, we're down a couple ticks on the day after being up eight days in a row to be down four and a half on the uh, tenure or down 12 on the bonds. That's not that big of a deal in terms of a corrective trade, unfortunately. I think if we do see some more weakness tomorrow, we have a lot of data tomorrow morning. Um, it's month end too. There's probably a lot of people shifting things back and forth on this month end. Um, type trade in the Treasury. Some of the extensions from the uh, indexers are pretty small and I think people are going to want to try and basically sell every rally and buy every break so you're going to have to just be a range trader in here and scalp these levels. It's going to be tough for my system trades to make a lot of money I think and what I'm going to really try and focus on is if I get buy signals to buy the tenure and if I get sell signals to sell the bonds here I'm going to be trading bonds probably a little bit more uh, than I have been recently because the market has been rallying. So, um, what else? And I've been fighting that rally, obviously, for the last couple of weeks since I got back from Greece for some reason. Um, moving on. Um, the gold and silver trades. I hope you guys took a hard look at those. I think with the Fed pumping this kind of money into the markets, all these assets are going to go higher. The dollar index has not broken down out of that bear flag yet, but put up big reversal days. I think 79.40 on the dot, the cash dollar index is the breakdown. Uh, I think we traded down to 79.45 and we're closing near the lows there. But typically I would say that would be bearish for the treasury markets too because treasuries are denominated in dollars when foreign investors own treasuries, the dollar goes down, they're losing money just by holding the treasury so there tends to be some hedge pressure on the treasuries from foreign investors too. A lot of different moving targets here but uh, I think the main point I'm trying to make is sell rallies by dips, sell rallies and bonds by dips and tenure. We're bouncing in between the Fed, the Fed's you know buying mortgages, I think thereby weakening the dollar. It's going to raise stocks, it's going to raise the metals, Hope you fill up your gas tank today too, because crude oil should keep rallying a bit from here too. It's up, uh, what, two dollars today? They'll jack up the gas prices tonight, so make sure you fill up your gas tank. Um, again, tomorrow morning, bunch of data, and then the Ryder Cup. I know a lot of guys in the office here aren't even coming in tomorrow because of the Ryder Cup. A lot of people here in Chicago are going to be going to the Ryder Cup, and I think that'll take some liquidity out of the market too. Probably by the time uh, Europe closes at 10.30 tomorrow morning, we should have made our trades and pretty much be on, our, uh, on the sidelines watching the golf on TV with everybody else. Uh, looking tonight, I think if we can get the market to trade outside of this uh, you 18-19 know, area on the upside or this, uh, you know, I want to say 11-12 on the downside, and I keep seeing the number 08 and a half keeps popping up on my uh, tenure stuff. So I think if the market breaks down, I'll take a shot on the long side around that 08 and a half area. On the upside here, I'm going to be a little reluctant, but uh, you know, bonds are not really rallying much. We had uh, a little five wave rally off of the lows from uh, sort of around noon Chicago time on the auction. Um, I think if, if you want to take a shot on the short side, I'm looking for any kind of a sell signal on the bonds up here. I'm not really getting a solid sell signal. 
I think if it trades, uh, uh, hold on. If it trades 15 right now, I'll get a minor sell signal on the bonds. You might want to take a look at that. Otherwise, I'm going to get some uh, rest and relaxation tonight. Uh, we were out last night. Tonight, my wife started graduate school again. So a quiet night at home. Wife's up at grad school. We're all going to be nice and quiet, hopefully. Have a great night. We'll see you guys tomorrow.